Assalamualaikum and hi Have you heard uh, Close cleaning techniques uh, Or cleaning in place uh, Or simply called as CIP Or sterilizing in place uh, Or also called as SIP uh, These are also cleaning techniques In uh, food Beverage and pharmaceutical industry. Uh, if you are not familiar with this, uh, let me explain to you uh, in this video. Cleaning in place or CIP, uh, the function is to clean the product contact surfaces such as vessel, equipment and pipeline without dismantling. Uh, sanitizing, eh? sanitizing in place or in some book they call it as sterilizing in place, uh, you can call it simply as SIP, uh, is to ensure the product contact surfaces are sufficiently sterilized to minimize product infection and to terminate uh, the biological reaction in certain processes. Actually, both of these uh, is, is, are the same. As nobody use CIP without doing sanitizing, and nobody does sanitizing without performing cleaning. CIP involves a uh, common step of cleaning activities that happen in place without the need of dismantling uh, the equipment. CIP may start with push out step where expensive residual product in the production lines can be recovered rather than going down to the drain. Uh, this normally done by uh, application of uh, product recovery projectile. So this is an example of product recovery system by Central State Industrial CI CSI. So in order for you to apply this, uh, this will apply after the production end, okay? And then you need to uh, dis uh, to disconnect a certain part of the part and then connecting the part into this system, eh? product recovery system where it consists of control box to control the air blowing inside the part. And But before that, you need to insert the projectile here. Uh, insert into the pipe where then uh, when uh, when it's on the air will blow the projectile and the projectile will move okay and this projectile will push the residual of the product within the pipe and then the outlet here okay we need to identify which outlet that we need to collect the product okay all right, so this is one of the example, eh? one of the example. And product recovery is normally the, done, okay, if, especially for uh, if, if your product is expensive, eh? and then you need to recover eh? rather than you uh, uh, drain uh, uh, to the, uh, eh? rather than you throw it away, okay? Okay. So, after completing the product recovery step, most CIP system industries start with pre-rinse step where portable water or reuse final rinse solution is used to wet the interior uh, surface of the pipes, equipment uh, and tanks. Uh, then, uh, and then, uh, this pre-rinse as well, the function is to remove most of the remaining residues. Uh, efficient pre-rinse uh, is important for effective uh, cleaning to happen and to ensure CIP cycle uh, can be predicted uh, and, uh, and the, the cycle is uh, repeatable. Then uh, cleaning cycle, okay, then cleaning cycle can start which is normally begin with alkaline cleaning. Uh, the first cycle of alkaline wash is seen is sent is sent to the drain due to high content of product residues. Then start from the second cycle, the alkaline can be recovered and reused. Uh, 
uh, after this step, uh, intermediate wind cycle will follow. Okay? Uh, will follow the alkaline cycle. It will flush out the residual of uh, the alkaline cleaners okay? and the remaining the uh, soil. In some food industry, uh, acid cleaning is needed okay? to dissolve and remove mineral scale. Uh, then followed with final rinse to flush the residual of cleaning chemical. Sometimes air, 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 blow, air, air, blow, air blow is needed to remove moisture uh, before sanitizing rinse begins. All these steps happen through the same piping path as the product, where CIP will remove product soil from the internal surface. Yeah, from the internal surfaces. And CIP can be complicated. It can be complicated uh, by having a computer performing all operation in an automatic and reliable manner. And it can be simple by just having a pump to circulate a cleaning solution. Often, uh, cleaning in place is misjudged. Uh, by high capital cost needed to purchase or design it and expensive to operate uh, due to high requirements on detergent, water and energy. Uh, however, with proper uh, design and operation, CIP can offer many advantages. Application of CIP can increase product safety by reducing human errors, uh, then can contribute to an unsafe uh, human errors that can contribute to uh, an unsafe product and reducing contamination risk uh, with monitoring sensors. CIP can also increase employee safety as it is fully automated. Uh, and this will minimize uh, employee exposure uh, to corrosive cleaning chemicals and employee also do not need to enter vessel uh, for cleaning yeah? uh, and entering vessel is actually classified as confined space uh, in occupational safety health act uh, CIP can also increase total profit yeah, by increasing uh, the production time as less downtime for cleaning and it can sustain product quality and consistency due to reliable of repeatable cleaning. And, uh, and then it can it promote employee efficiency as labor time is spent on production. Uh, is spent on uh, productivity and productive eh, on, on productive and profitable activities. Uh, it can also saving utilities. Eh? as a result from CIP cycle control. And it can lowering, eh, it can lower uh, the water treatment cost, eh, it can lower the water treatment cost uh, as effluent to the drain can be reduced. Okay, and it may also reduce the maintenance cost as properly cleaned equipment may run longer between maintenance period. And finally, CIP provides all the necessary functionality required in rules, regulation, and standards. Here are the main components in CIP system, which are tanks, pumps, spray devices, heating system, and piping and valves. For more description on each of these components, I will explain in the other video. Alright, so till now, that's it. Thank you for watching and bye.